I'm going to give a short demonstration of how to call into the virtualization uh, WCF services. Uh, I did a little bit of prep work here. First, I have an empty um, web project in Visual Studio 2008. Uh, this is a, a development machine, but I have uh, the Hyper-V manager here and the host I'm going to be using uh, to, which is a remote host, uh, is going to be this HV host one, and I'll be um, just starting and stopping this Vista machine to show uh, show how uh, an example of how to call into the services. Uh, on the local machine here, I have installed the virtualization services, the WCF services, and um, they're on um, this hosting services path. And uh, you can see the, the URL hosting service virtualization web service virtualization service.svc. And that's uh, the first thing we're going to be doing is, uh, is using that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, here on this app's website, I'm going to add a service reference. And the service reference is to that local WCF service that's running in IIS. So I'm going to just copy and paste that here, uh, Visual Studio, and I can see now here are the uh, here are the methods that are available through that WCF service. I'm going to go ahead and name this virtualization service and click OK. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a button on the form that will be used to toggle the machine state. So I'm going to drop this button over and rename the button toggle state and rename this button Now if I double click here, there's the event handler. One other thing I'm going to do up at the top here is add the uh, a using for the uh, service reference, which is going to be virtualization service. Okay, so let's go through the code that it's going to take to toggle this, and I cheated. Uh, putting this together, I'm going to go ahead and grab this code snippet that I had sitting over here in Visual Studio. I'll make a little bit more screen real estate here. And let's take a look at what what takes place. Um, we instantiate the uh, virtualization provisioning service client uh, as a new object. Next, we're going to uh, use that client right here to um, get a virtual system, which is really give me an object representing um, the machine, uh, the guest machine named Vista on the Hyper-V host in the uh, hyperdata.com domain. And if the, um, if the machine is enabled, then we're going to pause that virtual system. If it's not enabled, then we're going to start the virtual system. So if I look over here on the um, uh, Hyper-V host one, HV host one, you can see that the machine is turned off right now. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll go ahead and set a breakpoint here in the code and we'll run the code. I compile, okay, so there's our um, web application. I'm just going to click the toggle state and I'll step over this. Okay, we have now have a virtualization client object and uh, this, it's a, just a regular WCF based client object. We're going to uh, use that client and we're going to call the get virtual system. So let me step over that and then we'll look at the uh, info object that was returned. Okay, so here is the uh, the information object on that Vista machine. 
um, when it was created, um, the host that it's running on, uh, the state, state is disabled right now, virtual machine name, Vista, uptime. So that's the object that we have. Um, I'll close this inspection window and we're going to say, okay, if the state is enabled, they're going to pause, otherwise we're going to start it. So we'll step over that and what I'll do is um, uh, bring this up, we'll make it a little bit more real estate here so you can watch the state of the uh, the virtual machine and I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, let this run and do the start virtual system call and you can see there we go the it just started up this uh, Vista virtual machine okay so now we have this Vista virtual machine running and um, we're gonna we're gonna hit the the toggle state button one more time um, the machine is running. Let's go ahead and um, you can see here in the source code we say if it if it's running then we're going to go ahead and pause that virtual system. So let me make a little adjustment on the screen real estate and then I'm going to click the toggle state again and we've hit the breakpoint and we again we instantiate the client object uh, we get the information object, and now let's take a look at that info object. If we look down, and you'll see the state now is enabled. So, if it's enabled, then we go ahead and we call pause virtual system. And as you see on the screen, the virtual system just went into a paused state. So that is um, really the, um, about as difficult as it gets on you know, how you call into, into the, these WCF services. 